Bat Cow voting number 13. Let's see what we're picking. What's up, Wagme fam? This is Crypto Attic with a Bat Cow video. So we're actually going to be going over the voting options for DC's community created comic book, which will be DC's first ever NFT comic. Uh, but before we get into the options and what our selections are, please go ahead, take a moment, click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, guys. So if you're not familiar with Bat Cow's, Bat Cow's DC's one of one NFT project, it's based on uh, Batman's cow. And this is actually a utility project. And one of the utilities is the ability to vote on the direction of their first comic. Um, it's going to be their first NFT comic. So we're up to the 13th option to vote. And we're going to go ahead and see what Palm has in store for us today. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to kind of go ahead and start recording these so we can maybe reflect back on what the options were in the uh, past. Once we have our comics out, we'll be like, oh, I see the um, I see the Batmobile, and I remember we had these options, and it'll be kind of be be kind of cool to kind of see what the thought process was in regards to what I was picking. So, yep, let's go ahead and pull up the options here. Okay, so when you have this pulled up, you're gonna get like a link in your email, and you put the link in the browser, and you're gonna pull up a page kind of like this, and it's gonna tell you what the vote number is. We're just gonna go ahead and start this process here. Okay, it says, determine the future of Gotham City. Welcome to the Bat Cow Collection voting interface. For the next few weeks, Bat Cow holders will vote to develop the original DC comic book featuring Batman and the Bat Cow Collection. Bat Cow holders can vote once per 24 hour voting period, and their votes will be multiplied by the number of cows in their collection. If you have any technical questions, please use this form. All DC NFT experiences are subject to our terms and conditions. We may collect, use, share, and store your personal information pursuant to our privacy policy. Um, so, yep, you get one voting every 24 hours. Whenever they give you one of these votes, you have 24 hours to vote for it. And if you have five bat cows, your vote will count five times. All right, and your email is also going to include a secret key here, which I'm going to up okay you're just going to input your secret key or code and you're going to play so okay cool now moving along it says one bat cow equals one vote you have 24 hours from the time you receive each voting email to cast your vote and define the future of batman and the gotham city district night watch will you heed the call if you hold multiple bat cows in your collection your selection will be multiplied by the number of bat cows you hold your responses will be multiplied by the number of cows in your collection. If you have purchased new cows, please allow for up to one week for our system to recognize this update. And this is kind of standard. They say this just about every single voting option. You get these first uh, few pages that kind of describes the voting process. All right, Batman, the legacy cow, vote number 13. What will be the design of the Batman's bat drone? So, we're gonna get the, it looks like, bat drone. Let's see the art for this. What will be the design of the bat drones? Choose the original design of the bat drones, a key weapon Batman will use throughout Batman the Legacy Cow. You have 24 hours to select the log line that will become part of the DC universe. All right, getting right into it. So we have one design here. This is design A. Um, this is interesting. This is more of like a traditional type drone. Like if I had my DJI, like Mavics, um, this is something that looks like it. You have four blades and um, one body here. It's kind of similar to the body, but you know, it's a little more sleek. It looks like this is uh, in the shape of like a cow here. It's almost like it almost looks like a drone that's using the body of like one of those like rc demolition cars you know where they're very uh flat and like something like to get under them or and flip other vehicles or something but that's kind of what the body gun looks like uh, it does have a looks like a huge camera at the bottom here 
it looks like it could fit like a, a giant tele telephoto lens in there. So maybe it's flying around and, you know, zooming in on, on something through a window or, or whatnot, who knows. But yeah, pretty uh, standard design here. Not bad. I, I kind of like it. I do like that um, it has like the cowl shape here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's that's design A that we have, our first option. All right, design B. This is interesting. This comes with three blades and it has this protector around the blades. Usually drones would put this around the blades um, if they're like indoor drones. So like if you run into like the walls of your home or something or a wall of anything, it kind of protects the blade itself. So that's usually what this is for. I don't know if that's why it was designed on here, uh, but it's interesting. It's the blades are pretty massive <laughs> compared to the body. Uh, if you look, these are three massive blades and the body is much smaller. So um, if we're looking from it from like a actual real use perspective, I feel like in um, extremely windy conditions, this drone is something that would kind of get kind of swept away because the blades are so so much bigger than the body uh, you, it can almost um it, it wouldn't be as sturdy you know it kind of get blown away when uh, a gush of wind comes by so that's one thing to consider there uh, it does have a camera as well it's a little smaller it looks like down here uh, it gives me like a little like alien type vibe here with with this design um not so much as I can see as far as a bat. It does have, I guess, kind of the, the cow shape here. Maybe it's the angle we're seeing it from, not from the top. And uh, maybe this is its little wing here, but yeah, a little uh, interesting. It looks more like a bug to me, but um, yeah. Uh, right now I'm, I'm preferring maybe A more than B though. All right, design C. Okay, this one is interesting. Uh, I don't have any idea how this is gonna work, but it looks, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty, modern more futuristic right it doesn't have any blades so i'm not sure um how it plans well okay so it's shaped like a bat it looks like these are the wings and this is you know the cow so it looks like this drone itself is going to be something that flaps so um, i would assume if it's a flapping bat this is going to be maybe the most agile most versatile type drone that you can have maybe it'll fit in a lot of smaller spaces uh, because you know if you think of how a bat moves you know this may mimic it the best um the more i look at it i'm, I'm kind of feeling it more it has a camera down here as well not so much of a large body like like the previous ones uh, but just just a little uh cow on top of the camera I think this will look nice. I'm really feeling it because like, let's say at night, if this drone is flying around, one, it will blend in with bats much better because of the shape of it, right? It's shaped almost like a bat itself. And two, I feel like like at night where it's like a full moon and if you, you look up at the moon and you see a silhouette of this bat drone like flying in the air, it will look almost like a bat symbol. Or if it casts a shadow like on a wall or something, it will look like the bat symbol on a wall. So I'm actually kind of feeling that. that That's actually a cool concept and cool idea. Let me know what you guys think about that. I think that's that's actually our last option. It says proceed to vote. Okay, so we have our three designs here and it says select the design of Batman's bat drones. The option that receives the most votes within 24 hours will become part of the DC universe. If you have more than one cow, your vote will be multiplied by the number of bat cows in your collection. And yeah, they stated that multiple times. So yeah, if you have five, you get five votes. And from my comparison here, as far as what I'm gonna select, um, I feel like design B would be, would have like the most top speed because those, those blades are so huge. <laughs> it looks like it will just like take off top speed in one direction really quick. Um, A is, a typical drone, I think it would be very sturdy. Like if it's uh, really windy or if you're really, like if, if you're used to flying a drone and you fly really high in the air, it gets really windy up there. And um, drones typically kind of swing left and right a lot. But with these four blades, for the most part, they do a really good job of keeping it in place and keeping it steady. Uh, so the stabilization is usually really good with the, with the uh, four blades. And I think 
that's what it would be what it would actually be best at is for that uh, C I feel like would be the best to like like let's say a criminal is trying spots your drone is trying to shoot it I feel like C would be the best to zigzag and dodge bullets because it's it moves or has the ability or capability to move so awkwardly in all directions uh, that's just my opinion based off the appearance not so much that's actually how it's going to function though but what we're gonna do is for me i really like the idea that this could be a really cool silhouette and because of that i'm gonna go with c because i think just as like as a random like easter egg in like a lot of photos or like parts in the comic like you're just looking at like a scene where two people are talking in the comic but on the wall you see that little bat symbol which is like the shadow of this drone so it's like okay i know batman is you know watching what's going on here just because you see the shadow of that that drone i think that's pretty awesome and because of that i'm gonna go with c because i think c is gonna be the coolest one to have in the comic and so what you do is you go ahead and submit all right and that's the end of it it says your selection has been recorded your bat faction colleagues will be submitting their votes within 24 hours new votes will be delivered to the email associated with your account as they become available and typically if you're not in your discord you should join your discord because they do give you the results of these votings um not like right away usually it's a few days after the voting ends and they'll let you know what the results are sometimes the results may influence the following question um, so it is good to kind of follow along and see what the results are and how many people actually voted um, but yeah vote 13 that's done let me know what you guys think and what you guys are picking uh, let me know if you actually like these voting videos uh, like i said i figured you know it's always good to come back and reflect on what the options were and what we picked because who knows years down the line when a comic's already out we're like oh cool like i remember like voting for that drone that's there and it really played out really well in a comic so it's really cool to kind of see that um, later down the line but if you are interested in participating in any of these voting options or anything like this I will go ahead and leave a link to the marketplace where you can actually purchase your own bat cow. Um, like I said in, in the beginning, your voting actually could take maybe a week after your purchase before you can actually begin voting with the system. But yeah, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And before we end, like we always say, we all are going to make it. Take care, guys.